Hey there, welcome to part 3 of this megahertz by megahertz tuning of the shortwave bands and explaining what you can listen to. This part is on the 27 megahertz. So 27 to 28 megahertz, that little megahertz space there. What is there to listen to? And keep in mind, um, one thing that I didn't think about on uh, the uh, uh, two other videos and uh, 27 megahertz is one of those bands where this happens uh, depending on where you are in the world uh, signals are what there is to listen on some of the bands might be different than what I explain uh, basically I'm in North America so I have the North American view of the, the, the megahertz of the shortwave band so we have stuff here that are not existent uh, elsewhere everywhere in the world so we gotta be careful so if uh, what I'm saying is doesn't apply to you, it is possible and uh, I'd like to hear from anyone that's listening or any comments also of people saying, oh, you forgot that this is also something you can listen on that band. It's always fun and it's going to help all the others actually get more, the best information possible on the shortwave bands and what to listen. So 27 megahertz, what is there to listen here? Basically, you can say that 27 megahertz lower part is uh, what we call the citizens band or the CB channels here in North America and I believe it in Europe also but there's a difference in uh, some of the frequencies and some of the channels that we call for CB so depending on where you are it might be a little different but basically the lower part of the 27 megahertz is CB ears and here we go Lots of skip from American CB ears today. I'll put that faster. So these are the different channels, CB channels. For example, this is channel 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I believe this is channel 20. I believe this is channel 19, sorry. And channel 20 I think is this one. Lots of American stations here. In the upper part here, you might have a little bit of signals that are in uh, sideband. They could be lower or upper sideband, depending. And the higher end in North America is technically 27405. This is equivalent to channel 40 on the CB. Uh, but one of the interesting listening that you can have is that there are a lot of out of band CB ears. These guys have modified uh, amateur radio equipment so they can operate out of band. So from 27405 up to 28 megahertz you will probably hear all these out-of-band CB ears. Technically, it's mostly, it's, it, it's a part of the spectrum that is used for utility signals, but you'll hear most of the time out-of-band CB ears above this. For example, here. These are out-of-band CB ears, that's not complicated. These CB ears usually have lots of power. The legal limit of a CB in North America is 4 watts of output power. These guys probably run hundreds of watts, if not a kilowatt of power. So that's why we hear them. And what's interesting is that you can hear stations from all over the world with these uh, out of band CB ears. I've heard many, many Europeans, for example. Uh, one of the frequencies to look for, which is called a calling frequency, 27555. So you can see here lots of stations. These are actually European, one French from uh, the other one has English accent. I wouldn't be surprised that it's uh, from the UK. 
So that could be interesting listening, you know. Uh, it's out of the ordinary, and that's what's nice about radio listening and the shortwave bands. You have so many different types of signals. Then we'll continue on. This sounds like a radar, some kind of uh, over the horizon radar. One of the rules of the outer band CBRs that is, I would say, pretty much respected is that they do not go across the 10 meter handband. They'll stop around 27,999. French station here. So lots of interesting listening. I would suggest that, you know, when you want to do something else. And here we got 28 megahertz. So. I would suggest, if you are a little bored with your radio, saying, like, oh, I don't know what to listen to, hey, these series of videos give you a great idea of where and you can go and tune your radios and uh, listen to all these out-of-band CBs. And so, uh, even if you have a little shortwave radio with single sideband, even if you don't have single sideband, lots of those signals are in AM mode. So you can just go tune and you'll get some AM mount stations there. So this was the video tuning the 27 megahertz portion of the band and uh, with some explanation of what you can listen to. You'll never know what you hear on shortwave. So 73s and uh, hope you uh, continue to watch uh, our videos. Bye bye.